fantastic Friday morning. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Telling you a story. It says you have 964,000 subscribers. Yeah. Holy catfish, Batman. Wow. Oh, look, Brandy's here, and Spanish Sass is here, and Noah is here, and Jelly Ravenclaw. Living Blindly, Carl is here. Um, yeah, well, look at all the friends we've got in here already. Wow, you guys are... Tsunami Glitch is here. Robin Brown. Hi, Spanish Sass, how are you? And Spanish Sass says, oh, what a beautiful turtle. The anticipation, of I can't wait. <laughs> All and right. we have a Bethany. Ringers are rung and the mods are here. <clears throat> Danuve Tan says, love your art. Thank you very much. Saw and Shamar and hi, welcome. And I love stranger stuff are here and say hi. Nixia said, hey, howdy, hey. Cheap Walmart frog loves it when we go live. Oh no, your Wi-Fi hates you. Um, we're doing fine this morning. Oh, welcome work. to Chili's. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Sillin asks, any art tips, Scott? Uh, draw everything every day. Uh, David's here. Hi, David. Good morning. David's been working like a thousand hours a day. If that was humanly possible, that's what he would be doing. He's just very busy at work right now. We're so happy you got to take five minutes to be with us this morning. Kaylee says hi back again. Hey, what are you drawing today? <coughs> today we are drawing a sea turtle oh for the Solomon Islands. Okay, guys. These comments today are just, wow, you're all, wow. Hi from under Elena's bed. Don't scare Elena. Hi, you're my favorite artist. Oh, I thank love your you. art. Turtles are my favorite, yay. Aubrey is literally in art class right now doing an art project on Scott. <laughs> wow. Hello from Denmark. Hello. I'm really inspired by your art. Love your art. Hey Scott, I've been drawing recently and I've been watching your videos. There Hello. Was a question there. Hold on a second. Let me get there. For some inspiration and I don't know what to draw. Any ideas? That's a cad There are, there is a video on inspiration in the art hacks folder. <laughs> I would recommend that. And um, there, there is also one on photo reference and, and I would recommend that. On our website, there is also uh, photos that you could download and uh, get inspiration from. And you should always draw a red panda when you're not inspired because they're cute. We've got a Battle Brooks this morning. You are having Guys, you've been having some camera setup. Well, there's YouTube? two of them, and and I'm finding that as I draw, uh, as I'm doing the videos, sometimes it is a little difficult to see because my hands in the way if it's too too much above it. So I'm trying to move the recording camera to the left. Get lost, Squidward says hi. This is the first live stream I've seen. Well, hello, welcome. <coughs> um, have you done it? Are you gonna do Australia? I did do Australia. Australia, Kaylee's really? This is so close that it's gonna bump into that. Okay. Kaylee has an hour before they go to school and is making some art with you. Leela says hello from Thailand. I love turtles. There's Australia. Um, hi from England, that's Destroyer of Feet. Hello. The other one, that's Mo's story. Oh, Spanish Sass's art. Almost finished the tiger. Can't wait to see the final results. So exciting. Hi from India. Good morning. Oh my Hello. God, this is so cool. Um, we have another Emma S is making breakfast. Getting my morning bowl ready. Cheers to you, says Robin. I'm new here, saw you on TikTok, and I was obsessed with your art. That's Tibble. Oh, thank you, Tibble. Lots of people like turtles. Well, who doesn't like turtles? That's that's one of our boys' have favorite done, animal. Yes, have you done Britain? I have done everything around Britain. I've done Wales, I've done Scotland, I have done uh, Ireland. Yeah. So I think... They, they are liking emojis this morning. 
Uh, good morning. Friendly Carpenter says, how's everything? Do you have any plans this weekend? Um, no, I think we're going to take this weekend off. We usually do a live on Saturdays. And I think I just getting ready for our, our trip to Italy at the end of the month. I think I just need to catch up. And I also need to try to get some extra videos uh, kind of done. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we're going to be gone for 10 days. Correct. We are hoping, hoping to go live from Italy, but, but no promises. Um, what are these folders you are referencing? I love Alphonse Mucha too. Okay, could, um, one of the mods, could you put a link in to Josh Bowen for the reference por portion of the website? Uh, hi from Vietnam. Let's Hello. See. Helen says finally something not green and brown. <laughs> Um, let's see. Are you going to do Spain, says Laura. I might. There's only a few days left. Oh, what day is this, by the way? This would be 23. 23. Okay. Um, MR is from Malaysia. The chat is too fast. Oh, Upper Moon. Don't even. Seriously? You're not the one reading it. I know it's fast, but come on. Everyone's saying good morning, it's 3 p.m. for me. Thank you, Bethany. Hello from Pakistan. Hello. Penguin King's decided to return today. Hello, Penguin King. Um, Izzy Drawstuff says, Scott, I just got back from Italy, so here's some things you need. Izzy, I am never gonna see them in the chat. I need you to email me pretty please. Go to our website and click the email at the bottom button and email me, because I would love to see those and I don't want them to get lost in the chat. I haven't been to Italy, but I really want to go. That's got get lost Squidward. Um, he has drawn a bucky. Um, good morning, Scott Donna and the mods. How are you? Doing very good, thank you. You have to ask Scott if this could be the turtle crush from the Oh. Thing. <laughs> um, let's see, Scott is tired. It's uh, nine o'clock in the morning for us. Um, looking forward to seeing your turtle. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Turtles are my favorite animal since I was a kid. Um, Coley Draw says, hello guys, I love everything you do. Oh, thank you. Please notice me. That literally like, <laughs> that little thing, hearts and everything's in capital letters. Oh, how about New Zealand? <coughs> Excuse me. You okay, honey? <clears throat> no, I have this tickle in my throat. I took allergy pills last night because <clears throat> I'm scratchy. Okay. Yes, we did New Zealand. Let's see. We need some more. <clears throat> oh, Erica's here. She says, good morning, everyone. Big hugs to Donna and Scott. Yay. Did you see? You probably haven't seen it. There's I'll New Zealand. You. Erica painted these beautiful rocks with these beautiful... Um, scenes on them. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, Carl wants to know, do you normally use 300 GSM paper or do you also use lower GSM paper? I do use both. Currently, this is 300 GSM. Um, I When I do like um, commissions, I'll use the Canson XL, which is, I think, 180. Can we confirm know. that the Canson's 180 GSM paper? All right, hold on. I'm just curious. I'm sorry, do you need me to make that? Yeah. No, it's 300 GSM. Really? The, the sketchbook is uh, 180. Okay. 185. Okay. Because the Archer and Olive notebooks that I use are 160 GSM. <clears throat> All right, so the sketch, the travel journals that I would use before I found these were 185 GSM. See, right there, 90 pound, 185 G. And then the ones I use for um, commissions are 300 GSM and 140 okay. pounds. But they're just, they're not, they're not 100% cotton. They're not any cotton. It's probably just like a wood pulp or something like that. Right. So nothing as nice as... 
you know, like say the stuff I've been getting from Etcher or this one. Be creative. The be creative, yeah. Yeah. All um, right, and Mr. then. Mr. Finn says good morning. Maddie Vaughn says good morning. Oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot of you. Uh, let's see. Will the what hat will the turtle get? Oh, I already picked a hat for him this morning. <laughs> You can see it when I draw it. Do you do rotoscoping? Um, well, that's for animation, so n no, no, I've... He does not know what country he's going to do next. Actually, we do. Oh, actually, I lied. We do. Wait, but should we tell them or should we keep it no, a secret? No, it's okay. You oh, sure? Yeah. Madagascar! We like to move it, move it. We do. Slowly, but we do. Um... That's, it's going to be Madagascar Monday. Um, Sir Bucket says, I got an A on the assignment. I did on you, Mr. Saba. Oh, fantastic. Okay, Congratulations. Great. I'm glad you got an A because Scott never got an A in his life. Just kidding. Only on art projects. Um, let's see. So we went over all the sketchbooks that you're using. What's your itinerary for Italy? Ha <laughs> ha. We don't know yet. We're still working that out. Well, they have us pretty blocked out right. for what we're supposed <laughs> to be doing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let's see. I started school today. I was able to catch your light after school. Recommendation for the background. You can do an ocean-like background. I could. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, gosh, there's a lot of you today. Actually, why does it feel like there's more than 227 of you in here right now? Um, comments are just going. You guys are very chatty today. Um, did, does it ever annoy you when people ask, am I late, even when you're just starting pencils? I feel like it would drive me crazy. <laughs> Nothing drives me crazy, honestly. You guys are oh, great. Oh, nay, nay, my friend. I could drive you crazy like that. Honey, you don't count. Oh. Wait a minute, why don't I count? Because you're... Annoying. <laughs> Did you hear the sigh, guys? Did you hear it? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Um, have you ever drawn any horses? Uh, yes. If you count a unicorn. Hmm. Hello, I'm still improving my drawing and your tips are really helpful. Oh, great. Carl was supposed to be focused on digital art, but you inspired Carl to learn painting. I'm sorry, Carl, if I ruined your plans. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm going to try digital art. Watermelon Pie loved Animal Crackers. Oh, we thank so you. Scott, have you ever done swimming with turtles? And if not, would you ever try? I have before. We want to swim with turtles very badly and dolphins. Well, I want to swim with turtles and dolphins. I don't know if Scott does. Yeah, no, we we have not tried that. I mean, we've done some snorkeling kind of in Cancun and Cozumel, but that was 30 years ago. Do y'all have a mascot, like a character you use a lot? Not really. Um, Arvin's our mascot. Well, we don't use her, though. That's true. But Arvin's I guess it would be Esmeralda. Oh, God. The car is our mascot? She's in every video, pretty she much. She really is. That is very true. And the light bulb paper clip, I guess. Um, let's see. They want you to draw some stuff from anime. Isaac just finished their first day of high school. How have you been? Uh, congratulations, by the way. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, whoever mentioned bagels in the chat, Oops. that was mean. Because Sorry. Donna can't eat bagels anymore. Ugh, you people are killing me. There is yeast in bagels, and I cannot have them because I'm allergic. So, I... Movies. How many movies have you made, honey? Well, by myself, you know, like, like making, like, the movie all by myself. I mean, when I say by myself, like, my movie, Animal Crackers is my first. But, um, been involved with movies? Maybe about half a dozen. I know two Casper movies, there's Free Enterprise, there's um, Specials, uh, 
I think those are the only ones I got my names in the credits. Sharon says, your art is so good and has inspired me to create some new art of my own. Thank you so much for the art content. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Ciara would like to know, what grade of pencil do you use for underneath the watercolors? Uh, it is a 4H pencil. Izzy wants to know, what's your favorite video game? Uh, I really like um, Breath of the Wild, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, I play daily Overwatch. Um Old school video games I love. You probably wouldn't have heard of most of them. Uh, so I'll just keep to the newer stuff. Um, what do you think, this is Happy Sloth, is your favorite thing you've ever drawn? <coughs> um, I really like the Animal Crackers movie poster. Alma was doing homework and wanted something in the background and thought, what's better than your live stream? Oh, thank you. Do you build much Lego? No, we did when the boys were younger. My favorite thing to do on a Saturday morning, when the boys, which is going to sound completely insane, um, I used to sit with a cup of tea on the floor of their the living room, which was their Lego room, and I used to pull apart all the Legos and sort them by color. It's very relaxing to me. Scott has terrible penmanship. Oh yeah. He uses a Faber Castell pencil for his sketching. It's there's a link in my mm -hmm. art supplies if you want to see has it. Has your art ever been in a museum? No. But no. he has had an art show. He has been in um, several galleries around town, a local um, art show. Would you draw any Animal Crossing characters? I could. Robin grew up in the Solomon Islands. Oh, really? Tiny Bee wants to know if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons. I did in high in junior high. Um, Charlene wants to know what your favorite color is. Um, paints gray. Upper Moon doesn't normally have time for lives, but whenever you make a live, they rush to watch it. Oh, thank you. I think when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons just came out. When and what will you draw digitally? And by the way, I love Breath of the Wild. Oh, thanks. Um, I don't know try. what. We, yeah, we I got to hook that. up the, the Wacom tablet. Yeah. I was wondering if I should do it live. That might be fun. Would you guys, I mean, it would be, <laughs> I think where we're, you stream from your computer. Yeah. I, I think, so. think you can do that, right? you thank you for rekindling my interest in art broke out the dusty sketchbook and colored pencils that's springo oh that's so cool um you are so talented thank you very much how would you have so much patience says priyanka oh well i mean if you think Years about it this is practice being married to me yeah but but i mean if you think about it i don't i'm doing this in an hour and a half so if I was someone who with a lot of patience, I would, you know, work on a painting that took me two weeks or something. Um, I, I like to get my art done in one sitting if I can, or... Um, yes, digital life would be awesome. Um, okay, the pencil is a Faber-Castell 4H pencil, and the brush pen he's using right now is a zebra brush pen. And for anybody asking about the paper or anything else, all of Scott's art supplies are on the website under resources in the art supplies he uses. There is another list called art supplies I've tried and there are supplies there that- It's product testing. Yeah, product testing basically. So yeah, so check those out. Thank you, Steph Nerd. She put in the art supplies. That's perfect. Um, Sun Hopi says, I'm also drawing while I'm watching your live I'm using oil pastels right now, and it's a pain because I've never used them. Oh, yeah. Oil pastels are really kind of weird. Uh, we are going to take tomorrow off. We will not be live tomorrow. Um, Scott's trying to get a few extra things done before the end of the month. So tomorrow we will not be live. The colors that he's going to be using are Windsor and Newton colors, not poster colors. I um, really wanted to say that they love your art. Oh, thank you. How long does it take to draw an animal? Um, about five minutes. 
What is your favorite Breath of the Wild characters? Love your art, by the way, and your voice is so calming. Um. A lot of people want the live digital. The, the digital on live. Sorry. Oh, okay. I, I honestly don't know which is my favorite character. Um, it's been probably several months since I played it. I did like when um, when Link had to cross dress to get into that uh, town of all women. That was really fun. Okay. So I have you ever played Dragon Quest Three? Genshin Impact. It's one of my favorite games, but it takes a lot of storage. Uh, no, I have not. Um, what was your D&D character? Gosh, I don't think you'd remember that far back, would you? Um, yeah, I mean, it was always a fighter or barbarian. I was never very imaginative at that age. I didn't want to learn spells or anything like that. Anything. Now I might do something that's more of a healer or a paladin or... Liliana says, I love letting you run in the background. I'm currently preparing school notes before the semester starts. Oh, nice. Lori says, hi from France. Hello. Um, have you ever used Procreate? No, I have not. Do you like drawing men or women more? Uh, when I was growing up, it was mostly men, but I think now I like drawing women more. Tibble is going to pick up Going to pick art for GCSE. Very nervous as it seems really hard, but I think I'm up for it. Any tips to success? I don't know what GCSE is. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, can you tell us what that is? How do you make such straight lines without a ruler? Um He's got a very steady hand. It's annoying. Isn't it's it? no no, it's it's just Oh no, it's annoying. Look, you rest your hand and then you're just moving your fingers down in a straight line. So there's very little wiggle room. So it's it's just like that. Um Oblos wants to know what we're naming the turtle. I don't know. I feel like you've said this before, but I can't remember what's your favorite thing to draw. That's Walmart frog. Um, <laughs> hair. Um, oh, GCSEs are basically exams, but very important. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you're so funny. All we could do is wish you good luck. You guys are funny. You make faces like, oh my God, she read my comment. That's what I'm doing. You're so silly. When did you start making art? Oh, when I was six or seven or eight, I don't know. I didn't take it seriously really until I was um, in high school. Nisbal wants to know if you like to draw cars. I don't particularly like to draw cars. I've drawn them a lot, but I don't particularly like it. Uh, Sam says GCSE is, is the General Certificate of Secondary Education. It's basically the British equivalent version of a diploma. Gotcha. Okay, okay. You're gonna do fine. You got this. We believe in you. But I think the question was, what do you put in it for art? I think your best pieces. Yeah, you always wanna lead off <laughs> with your best work. And, and again, I mean, I would stay away from original characters. I would stay away from, you, you have to put yourself in the mindset of the people judging you. They're gonna wanna see stuff that is more traditional. Um, is it a tortoise or a turtle? Uh, I think it's a sea turtle. I think a tortoise has legs, right? Like feet, honey? The, let me look at the difference between the two of them. I, I believe every, no. Um, I'm trying to remember how that was. I, I was at the zoo, but it was a long time ago. The tur tortoises are land, right? And um, yes, but. I don't think there's such thing as a sea tortoise. Yeah, but there's a, hold on. Okay. 
Turtle shells are more streamlined to aid in swimming, and the tortoises spend most of their time on land, and turtles are adapted for life spent in the water. So, like the, um, God, what's that one at the zoo? Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's not important. But, um, it is Galapagos us. tortoise, yes. They're land animals, and they've got actually nails on their end of their feet, and they dig, and that's how they dig for, for vegetation, and they dig for, like, small bugs that they can eat. So the tortoise is definitely on land, and they have a more higher arched shell. So turtles, the shell is shorter and more streamlined. Um, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Robinson's been painting along with you for the past few weeks. It's been a most wonderful experience. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Che loves doing art, and you inspire them so much. Thank you. Mr. Sparky says you're a great artist. Well, thank you very much. Creepister says, love your drawings. You're my idol. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> why do you like drawing hair so much? I think because uh, it can swoosh and curl and, and have all of these different uh, shapes. So you can create designs with it. <clears throat> What's your favorite color? Payne's gray. Mine is cobalt blue. Blockhead TV loved it when you drew the Welsh dragon. I'm from Wales and seeing my small country get some sort of recognition makes me so happy. Uh, well, thank you for having a dragon. I wish you would have had a whale, but it's okay. Just ignore him. You should try to maybe do a tutorial on pencil techniques. <clears throat> I could definitely look into that. I've really been enjoying the videos lately uh, where I can just try different materials and have some fun and experiment and play around. So I've been enjoying it. Thank you so much and happy Teacher's Day from India. I'm 11 and you inspired me to draw, sir. That's cool. Oh, hard. fantastic. Yay. Greetings from South Africa. I can never draw a straight line. It would look like a swivel. You and me both, groovy hippie. You and me both. The only question I have is, oh, hold on. I really hate it when they just boop. I'm reading a question and it goes boop and I can't see it anymore. Oh, the boops are the worst. I know. Uh, oh, here it is. The only question I have is how do I sort of accurately draw someone's face? That's Ma's praise. Um, well, make sure you're either looking at them in person or you have some sort of photo. That's definitely number one. Um, get your proportions right. You know, and then after that, you're just going to find out what makes them look different. Are their eyes closer together? Are are there, is, do they have a big forehead? Those little things are definitely help you get that. Caricature artists are the best of that. You really gotta give them credit. Um, but I would say uh, if you're still having a problem with it, uh, don't be afraid to try the, uh, the grid method or just projecting and tracing it. Tiny B has been in a slump with their art for a while now, but watching you has inspired me to jump right back into it. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Um, the cat Meow says, Scott, I love watching you. You really make me happy. You're my role model. Thank with you. With a big red heart. Thank you, Cat Meow. Love, love. Amanda says, I really love your art style. You have really inspired me so much, and I even noticed parts of your art in my drawings. Um, I am so flattered. Thank you. That is very sweet. I love to hear that. Because my art is just an amalgamation of all of the people I looked up to. Alma loves all your bracelets and has us on in the background while they're doing homework. Oh, thank you. How do you make the turtle's mouth? Do you, how do you make a whole freaking turtle? <laughs> <laughs> he, tra he traced it, you guys. He projected it on paper before we got here and he traced it so it would look accurate. Well, it was technically two different photos. So you saw that I had the head and I had the body and I just kind of connected it. But to speed things up, because I mean, you guys know I, I can draw. It's just, I didn't start this till like 8.55 and I did the letter and I just, you know, so. But if you were gonna, you know, if you were gonna draw it, you're just gonna get that oval shape. Here's where the eye is gonna be. And then you're gonna just find that 
the shapes and work from there. I mean, the turtles are really not hard to draw, not at all. Any tips for watercolor beginners love your art, by the way? That's a minty chip. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of videos uh, in there for that. So uh, on, on, in the Art Hacks playlist. But definitely you want to work light to dark. <sighs> TMNT Real Cosplay says, hello, I just wanted to know how to draw lips on men. I usually draw them with some beard. Are there any tips for that? Yeah, there is a... Um, there's a couple videos on, there's one on mouths and there's one, I would say, uh, there's a video on helping a younger artist draw uh, a face for his character. And I talk about men's lips. Um, B. Sherrod says, hair is also one of my favorite things to draw. I have drawn and colored like three so far. Oh, that's yes, fantastic. Yes, this is a turtle. And the S just joined the Discord. Um, just keep in mind, um, you still have to answer all the questions and everything, and then the mods will let you in when the live is over. So you won't have access to the Discord right away. Um, X Liz says, hello, Scott. Can I ask about how you were able to make a career with art? Do you find that for a comfortable living, commissioned art is the way to go, as opposed to making YouTube videos? Mm. That's a loaded question, because we have never made a career of art until this year. Yeah, I, I would say commissions have never been my thing. Um, I don't particularly enjoy them. And, uh, you know, I, I, you'd have to do so many just to either that or charge people a lot of money. Exactly. And I, I don't like to charge people money for my art. I don't like, to, I mean, if I can give my art away, I do. Um, so for me, I think the best way to make a living making art is to work in an industry like video games or animation. Uh, I think that is the most stable way. Like if you wanna have a house and get a family and yada, yada, yada. The stuff that we're doing is so, such a high wire act. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> you have no idea how much of a yeah, high wire act it I mean, really it, is. it is yeah. so tenuous. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, you do it if you if you feel that you have to. You do it because you love it and you do it hopefully because you have some financial support or you are okay living uh, on meager means. Uh, and, and again, none, there's nothing wrong. It's the same thing as saying, hey, I wanna be a musician or I wanna be an actress. Um, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's just you, it, there's a lifestyle that comes with that and it is a lifestyle of, near poverty so just just keep that in mind because it is you will see artists talking about how how much money they make and how well they're doing and and they, they it may be true it may be true they may be just doing so well but it's so rare there's so few of them that actually make it to the point to where they're that big that they're doing yeah I just, I just want well. you all to have realistic expectations of what it is, what it is like to live life as an artist. Mm -hmm. It is, it is tough. It really is. And, um, you know, we worry about money all the time. And the only time we didn't is when we were making the movie. Yeah, which is why we were going. We had a steady income for a few years. Yeah. Which is why we're trying to make more movies because it provides a more stable income. And selling a painting every week. And YouTube is week. YouTube is great. YouTube is paying yeah. us very well. Finally. We just don't know how long it's going to last, and right. we, you just never know. But mm -hmm. we are loving doing this. This is really really yeah. fun. I think there's just that that thing where you s different people have different thresholds of risk, mm -hmm. and and um, and how they want to live. So it's been very hard for me supporting the artistic one over the years. Yeah. And I don't mind doing it. I'm not opposed to working. I'm not one of those people who's like, I'm not gonna work, my husband has to take care of me. I don't care about that. I, we're a partnership and we work together, but it is hard. It's very hard. Yeah, Donna has supported the family probably more than I have over the years. No, I don't think that's true. But... I'm just the dime a dozen. 
who can go get a job very easily. Scott is very, very niche. People don't want to hire artists they to don't. go and work at FedEx or anything like that, you know? They really don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, Ross is grabbing the sketchbook so that they can draw along. Um, Ingo has a question. What is your opinion on the other eye? Some artists really struggle with it, but my advice is to draw them both at the same time. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've been getting a lot of people asking, you know, I'm having a problem with the other eye. And I, I think what's happening is, here, let me stop this recording. Um, I think what's happening is people will do a, um, let me do this. Pencil extender, go. So I think what happens is people will do this. They'll, they'll draw an eye and they'll spend like 20 minutes on it and they'll absolutely love it. They'll put in all of the eyelashes and eyebrow and shading and, and everything. And they're like, oh my God this eye is the most perfect eye. And then they'll go and they'll draw another eye and they're like, oh no, it's too low. Or, you know, oh, it's too big. Or so, I've ruined the whole thing. And I think that's what's happening. They spend all the time on one eye and then they try to line up the other eye. When really what you need to do is you need to figure out where your face is, find the center, find the center, do the whole eyeball. And then from there, you could draw your eyes. Put the lids over the eyeball. There you go. And then you got this one's here. Do this. Okay. And then you'll be okay. So yeah, I think you're right. They need to they need to plot out both eyes. And that's why they're having a problem. They'll just I used to do this all the time. I would just start drawing an eyeball. And you're like, I really like this. And then you go to draw the other one and it's all messed up. So I think that's what's happening. The whole other eye thing. Here's what I would like you to do today because I've had this question multiple times and this is for Sophia Maselli. Do you have any tips for adding shadows with watercolor? I always struggle using the purple. It looks so out of place. So what I want you to do today when you get to the watercolor portion is I want you to walk us through the shadows that you're adding and the colors that you see in the shell while you're doing it. Start recording. He's, are you starting recording again? I'm trying to. Okay. Thank you, Steph. She's like, start recording again. You guys are great. See how wonderful our mod's friends are. They're so nice. They're like, start recording again, because they know. Marlo the Toadstool loves the channel and loves turtles. Oh, thank you. We do have pets, and Scott has drawn them. Um, I'm surprised you can't hear her snoring in the background. Her name is Arvin. She is a uh, rescue puppy and she's almost 11, so she's an old lady. But we love her. Um, S. Miller says, I just want you to say that whenever I draw, I listen to your live streams. Your voice is so calming and helps me focus. Um, thank you very much. Hello from Croatia. This is Marija. Hello. I really enjoy your videos and you're an awesome artist. You also make me realize how even professional artists make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> uh, yes. And now I am more confident about my art. Marisha, I think that is probably the nicest comment you could have given Scott. Like, we're all human, and thank you for showing me that I can still be a good artist and be human. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love it. Very, very well said. I think if I could have any legacy, it would be... If this guy could make art, anybody <laughs> can make art. That would be the nicest oh thing God. anybody can remember me for. Seriously. Um, I need a little more information than, sir, how can I improve my sketch? XLR8, what do you want to improve? Um, Vic Star wants to know, what if I don't have a sketchbook since I don't have one? What do I do if I don't have a sketchbook? You can draw on a uh, copy paper, whatever Napkin, kind of paper you can get. Paper yeah. Towel. Grab I, a pencil or a ballpoint pen and anything next to you. Scrap paper, envelopes that you get in the mail. You can draw on anything. I don't do commissions anymore because I wanted my flags to be used by anyone and yet so hard to have a normal job. I work 
or a biologist. Yep, that's Rudy. Yeah, he, it's hard. Um, Lydia says, do you have any tips on how to get better at um, drawing and art in general? I'm 12 years old and I'm trying to do good, but I always end up ripping up my work. Oh, Lydia. Yeah, don't rip it up. Don't do that. Just, just work in a sketchbook and just fill the sketchbooks. Here's, here's my biggest question. Are you drawing from your head, from your mind, or are you drawing what you see? Because if you're drawing from your mind, yes, you're not gonna improve because you're just drawing what you know. Whereas when you draw what you see, you're learning every time because you're looking at something, you're observing something. So please, please, please draw what you see. Okay, Mr. Animations says, you ever consider doing an all out budget on really cheap and doing an all out budget drawing on really cheap book with really cheap supplies? Okay, so Scott has used, if you go back in the videos, he bought a $3 sketchbook, a $1.50 pencils and a pencil sharpener, and he did a sketch with those. Um, so go back into the videos, where is it, Art Hacks? Yeah, what is this? The cheap sketch materials, like the $3 sketchbook you use. Oh, $3. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I did a video where I tried to, I spent $8. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, I mean, that's, you don't need expensive art materials. Mm -hmm. I've been drawing with, um, I've been making art with Crayola and yep. crayons and stuff. Yep. So, the, the nice art materials are for when you are more advanced, you're, you're, you've outgrown these, these materials. But uh, first, you got to learn to draw. Okay. Oh, Diane S bought the Sakura pens that Stefford recommended and they're a beauty to use. Oh, fantastic. That's fabulous. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to go on a small little tangent here because I was talking, we were talking to somebody the other day, it was a business call that we were doing, and we were saying how fantastic it is that all of you here, I mean, we don't know everything in the world and all the supplies that are that are available, but Steph had this knows what she can buy that's outside of the US. And we've got people in Europe that talk to each other and say, hey, try this sketchbook instead of that. And you're all helping each other. And I just- It's a really nice community you, you've fantastic. all built together. Exactly. And it's just, it's so great that everybody's helping everybody else. I just, I love it. Anyway, I love it. Um, are you going to VidCon? No, we are not. Oh, did, didn't that just happen? Yes, it just happened. Wait, isn't there, is there another, another They one? just had one, right? Yeah, I think so. No, it was over the summer. VidCon was in July. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're asking for next year, we don't know. Oh, that car in the background looks really cool. That is Esmeralda, the miniature of Esmeralda. Um, do you have any tips on drawing Legos? My little cousin wants a Lego city. Oh. He wants to know. No, but they are fun. They are fun to draw. Um, what type of animal do you like most, Scott? <coughs> uh, my favorite animal is a cheetah. Scott has done a lot of Stranger Things drawings. Yeah, there's He's not a, done them in a sketchbook, of, a whole sketchbook. But. There's a video uh, on it if you want to go and look. What's your favorite place you've been to? Um, we haven't been to too many places yet. Yeah, so I, I would say maybe the Louvre in Paris. Ray says, hey Scott, I tried your methods to draw heads and it worked out really well. Now I just need to practice to perfect them. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for telling me that. Um, let's see. Oh, I should also tell you that we are working, hopefully, with a company. We're in talks to work with a company to do a basic kit of art supplies, watercolor supplies specifically, um, that will be around the $25 price point. So for everything, for the sketchbooks yeah, so and the watercolors and the brush. Just so you know, and, we do get, we have a lot of companies reaching out to us, asking right. us to do advertisement, sponsorship and whatever. We're Correct. not, we're not taking that on. Um, what mm -hmm. we, what we're asking them is if they could get, um, Discounted. Lower their prices, get us right. discounts, so that way you guys could get access to cheaper, better materials. 
And so yeah. that's what we're working on right now Correct. is oh, just that. And tell our friends in India we're working on the shipping too. Yeah, India, because we I know yeah. there's a lot of you from India. We're Correct. trying to find a way to, to where you guys can have better access to art yes, supplies talking, as well. We're talking to people about shipping to India and trying to find out if logistically we can make that happen a little bit easier for you guys. So you guys Actually, what I what I'd love to know because all we've heard from India is that and I and, and I guess I could always reach out to the people we were working on the movie with but is that um, you guys just don't have access to those kind of art supplies mm -hmm. and I'm wondering is there an art supply maker in India that we could talk to and maybe strike up like a, a, a partnership. partnership yeah Oh, thank you, Alpha Toad. Alpha Toad. If I take elements from different art, combine in PS, or Photoshop, and draw and paint them to tell the narrative I want to tell, is it really my art? Is this a genuine concern or just my way of keeping myself from actually drawing? Oh, gosh. No, it is 100% art. Anything you can make, whether it's a collage of photographs or whatever, is, is art. Mm -hmm. The only thing you would ever have to worry about is if your art is so close to the art that you are using for reference that it would be copyright. So just make sure that you you change it in some way so that way it is not copywritten. And, and that is really the copyright is only if you're going to sell prints. So if not, you can just say I used this person, this person, this person and this person's art uh, to make this and there you go. You don't have to worry about it. You just give credit uh, It's a sea turtle today. I'm um, done with the Kai sea turtle. Kai is really bad at art, but watching your videos has made them want to start. I'm really bad too, so let's be bad together. I don't know if he'll ever do the Disney princesses. That's a good question. Oh, what a pussy got into the Beverly Hills art show. Good for wow. you. Wow. Um, DOY says I'm a beginner for the last three months and I can't draw anything right and I give up mostly in five minutes in drawing. What do I do? Um, give yourself six minutes. Yeah. Give yourself just a little more time. Um, and, and look, you have to get through the bad drawings to get to the good ones. It's like, um, you got to look at it like working out. You know, if you're complaining that you, you know, you're not built like the rock yet because you've worked out three times. Um, think of how much time he put into getting those muscles. Um, you, you've got to put the time into it. So uh, if it's something you really want to do, if you're not having fun, don't do it anymore. Uh, it, it's not required or anything like that. You're not a failure or anything. It's just, I didn't like it. Um, think, about, think about me and acrylics. I, I don't, I don't, I tried it a few times and I was like, eh, I don't like it. I don't want to waste my time doing something I don't like. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to do uh, art and you want to draw better, put the time into it. Like I said, think of it like, like you're, like you're building muscles. Okay, honey, you ready? Oh, uh, sure. Um, okay. If I missed some of your comments, guys, because there's, for some reason, they are moving fast today. Um, put the questions in at the bottom again, okay? And I apologize. Um, and Scott's been a little, um, he's been describing a lot of things today and doing extra things. So, um, <sighs> I apologize. Oh, we have a company called Camel in India. Their product is one of the decent ones for the price. Oh, that's good to know. Good. We'll reach out to them. We'll see if maybe yeah. we can get you all some discounts. That is the thing we're trying to do. A lot of people offer affiliate links, which is basically where you can make money off the product. And we keep telling them, we don't want the affiliate links. We want to be able to give you guys the discount so you guys can make art. Um, that's what we're trying to, trying to do. That's what we're working on. If we can get everybody the right art materials... Yeah, I mean, I would love for you guys good. to all work with Be Creative oh and Windsor and yeah. Newton and whatnot, We'd but they're just, just expensive. We'd love to put the supplies in your hands, believe me. If we could, we would. Um, okay, hold on guys. 
All right, it's hat time, so I need the pen that you want me to use. And I have the hat. I know exactly what we're drawing today, surprisingly so. Don't ask me how I did this, but I do. All right, everybody. Oh, look, I have my post-it right here. Isn't that nice of him? <laughs> hat time, a sun hat. Oh, nay, nay, friends. Not a sun hat today. Is it the swimming cap? No, it's the swimming cap. Really, Scott? A swimming cap. Little goggles. Little goggles, I should have made goggles. Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh my God, goggles. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. This is a little off today. I think I like that one to be a little thicker. Okay, guys, I don't like that line either. So we're gonna, this is Donna, modifying the construction of the hat before she cuts the hat. Hold that thought, please. Oh my god, this is so funny. I think it's actually comically hysterical that I'm cutting hats out of post-its to put on animals that you're drawing. Every once in a while, this this just makes me like <laughs> have to think about it and go, really? I'm drawing hats on post-it notes. It's kind of funny. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. You are, you're all too fast for me today. I don't know why I feel slow today, but I do. I feel slow today. Okay, hold on, there we go. And then round and the thing. Okay. All right. Okay, there's the hat. I am ready. Go get him, tiger. Figure out where to put this right there. I think that looks stylish. No, no, no. The whole thing was the whole point was, yeah, just like that. <laughs> Why do you say no before actually looking at what I did? Because it, 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 but I you automatically assume it's wrong. I know, but look at him. Doesn't he look like very big torso puss? He just looks so cool. <laughs> I was quite happy with myself with that one. All right. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what you did, looks, but I know it's wrong. Yeah, I, well, I always do that. I like the hat when it kind of looks like it's sliding off the turtle's head. Give him a cigarette, please. Oh no, we have to keep it clean. Give him sunglasses. You guys were so funny. All right, I'm gonna move this. This is annoying have me. Have you done grease? Not yet. Your tips have really helped me. Drawing the things around me has now become a daily habit. You've also inspired me to continue doing what I love. That was Amanda. Oh, thank you. Good for you. Your artwork is so beautiful. I hope to be as good as you someday. A swimsuit for the turtle. I know, there's a lot of people here. Can you draw a cat wearing a hat? I think that's already been done. There was a book series about something like that. I think so. Donna's cat hats could have superpowers and be another Animal Crackers movie. Alexander says you inspired me to draw, and now I do it almost every day. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. It's a fedora. Exactly! Very the platypus. Cowboy hat. You guys are so funny. All right. I think I got all the cameras set up. Let us Who's get... It's supposed to be a fedora. A painting. Oh. Yep. Where can I play Paperboy the game based off of you? Um, I'm, there might be some simulators out there, uh, but it was, you know, it was originally an arcade <laughs> game, so you might, I don't know if there's places that have old arcade games. Ooh, I have, this is my gouache, not my watercolor. Oh no, guys, wrong palette. I was painting with gouache. Helen, you're so funny. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Um, okay, Groovy Hippie says, we do a series of drawing disabled people like diabetes, alopecia, and other chronic illnesses. Okay, so there's a level of sensitivity that we need to yes, be I respectful did, to there. But yes, I did already. You did. I did a but, few of them in the hair journal. If right. you want to go back and look, there right. is somebody with a cochlear implant. There is someone with alopecia. There is someone with... Oh, what's the one where the skin goes light? Oh, albinism? No. Well, there's there's someone with albinism too. But um, the one that Michael Jackson had. Vitilago, thank you. Um, Amu used your bargain shopping tips and got everything two pencil blenders and a white gel pen for under five dollars. Oh, fantastic. There you go. So yes, I think rather than doing like, quote unquote, a book of disabilities, I think it's just better to include yeah. people normally into the art as they, as you would um, throughout. Um, the, the the diversity of the human of human people. Why do you need to erase the pencil lines under the ink? I don't need to. I just don't want to see them uh, when I am painting. Uh, that's what the ink lines are for. Also, because we're giving these away for free uh, for people to to color in, it's yes. better to just make it as clean as possible. <clears throat> you can find the links to download those either in our website or on our Discord. Blow dryer. I am using two separate. <clears throat> what watercolors would you recommend for a beginner? Uh, any watercolors are fine for a beginner. Um, the paper is more important, so I would spend more money on the paper if you can. Um, I get uh, Canson XL. All of these are in the art supplies list, but I would get either the Canson XL is a good one. Um, and usually you can find a good sale at like Michael's or something. Uh, what's harder for you, humans or animals? Uh, I, th I think it, it depends. I mean, um, there's so many different, like no two animals look alike kind of thing. You know, it was a, it's such a big difference drawing a deer compared to an elephant compared to a bald eagle. Um, it, it, there's, there's just different techniques and everything. So... I think every time I'm doing a new animal, it's a challenge. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a huge challenge. But um, on the other hand, no one's going to say, well, that doesn't look like George the Sea Turtle. I know what George the Sea Turtle looks like, and his eyes are all wrong. You know, no one says that. So I, I, you don't have to worry about getting it exactly right with animals. Whereas a human being, especially if you're doing a popular person, uh, people are going to have, they know what that character is going to look like. And, and just humans in general, if you get something off, people are more apt to know what a human looks like because they see them more often. So there's challenges with both. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we go. Let's do a, let's go really, really fast thing. Um, all of the art supplies, the zebra brush pens and the books and the watercolors, all of those are in the art supply list on our website. If one of the mods can put that in again, that would be great. Um, please keep drawing and continue to go through that. Just work through all of the things. Do you have any facts about the Solomon Islands you know off the top of your head? Oh, it was, um, when, when, uh, the Spanish came across it they thought that they had found king solomon's uh gold and they thought the place was going to be filled with gold and so that's why it's named solomon islands 
I know that. Um, what was the other one I told you, dear? Honey, I don't remember. I've had a million more questions to get through. Okay. Um, have you ever tried 3D printing? No, we have not. Yeah, we did years ago. I mean, not us personally, but remember we, we did those, we worked with that company that did those Spider-Man. We and... did, but not us personally. Yeah. Okay. Um, Friday night plans include going to bed early and reading a book and Scott watches a TV show. Dra tips on drawing hands and inking hair and anything else you want to know about sketching, go to the Art Hacks, Art Hacks playlist. playlist. Blow dryer. <laughs> Um, I started it in February and growing it was a, easy to start off with because I had half a million or three, I think I had three, 400,000 subscribers at the time in on TikTok. So I asked for some help and you know, a lot of you guys came over. And so I think that got us maybe the first 30,000 mm -hmm. subscribers here. And then after that, I just, the shorts are doing really, really well. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So oh, thank you, what, Sarah Wilson. What do you think of art made by recycling? I, I think if you ask me what do I think of X art, I'm always going to say I think it's amazing. Because I think art, anybody who's making art is fantastic. Even AI art, I think is cool. Art is art, guys. Richard's here and says hello. Sarah says that they name the it's turtle. George, I yeah. saw. Okay. Um, do you prefer YouTube or TikTok? Um, I love YouTube and I think I prefer to post and interact with everybody on YouTube. Uh, on TikTok uh, is where I have a lot of friends. I, I've made friends on TikTok and I haven't been able to do that. They don't have that kind of interactivity where you can do duets and stuff like that and stitches um, here on YouTube, which is totally fine. I don't need that here on YouTube, but I still go to TikTok to go and check in on my friends that I've made. Blow dryer. Yes, Amanda, I did read your comment. The chat is moving really fast, so bear with me. I'm not gonna get to everybody today. I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's that many of you here, but the chat is just going bananas, so I apologize. Do your hands hurt after drawing? No, no. They used to when I would do colored pencils because I'd have to push down so hard, but watercolors is really, really just, you know, flowy and simple. Um, let's see, I can only draw stuff good in digital art and pencil and paper. Um, let's see, I was trying to find some good, comfortable art supplies in India and I remember Campbell Doms and Faber Castell, I thought this will help you. Thank you, that's perfect, let me make sure I get that. If Faber Castell is in... The US, I'm thinking for shipping, but I don't know where they are here. Thanks for the advice on the cheaper gouache than the one you used. Do you think Kimmy gouache is good? And I love all your videos and thanks for the tutorials. I, I think it was definitely really messy and that bothered me, but it does work pretty well. And, and it was rather cheap, $50 for 50 colors. That's really cheap. Okay, um, Amanda says your art tips have really helped me. Drawing the things around me has now become a daily habit. You've inspired me to continue doing what I love. Oh, I love to hear that. Thank you. Uh, I've noticed you wearing many bracelets. Do they have any meaning to you or is it a fashion statement? Um, no, they, they are uh, based on 
they're from places that we've been. This was from Utah. This was from uh, Kauai, and this is from uh, Spain. This one's just a placeholder, so this one has no meaning to me. Um, it's just a placeholder till we go to Italy, and hopefully we find something cool in Italy. Um, Scott uses the zebra brush pen. That is the black marker. Fox TV says, I'm so happy the win um, their Windsor and Newton Coffin series arrived. Yay! Hey, congratulations, you, Box, Box TV. TV. will need to show us on the Discord or somewhere where you can tag us what you paint with that. We would love to see it. Um, what's one of your bad habits with art or an old bad habit that you have? Um, I'm trying to think old bad habit well when i was younger my bad habit was i would just draw everything out of my head um but um i think uh one that i am getting over is trying to make everything perfect mm -hmm. i'm learning to let go of perfection i agree with that what time period is the most fun to draw um breakfast time I, I love Victorian dresses. I love period costumes. I think they're wonderful. Okay, there are videos on um, Art Block, and we have Scott has a recommendation, Small Nova, on art books that is in the resources section of our website. And if one of the mods, if you could put in a link to the art books for Small Nova, that would be great. Um, it's so funny to see all of the hats, and I know the hats are funny. Let's see. Just don't drink the paint water. I mean, I don't know what else to say. The stream is very relaxing. I am now struggling to draw the turtle while you're already painting it. <laughs> um, Alexander almost never does realistic things, but is doing it now. Any tips for lining with ink? Staying steady and having clean lines, etc. Um, I did do a video on it, but essentially um, line weight. Where to make the lines thicker and when to make them thinner. Look for that. Do you ever have a problem picking out the reference or finding inspiration of what to draw? Oh, absolutely. Lately, I've just been uh, on a really good roll because you guys are asking really good questions. Yeah. And there's a ton of great shows out uh, to, to, to have. to of fodder for yeah. Scott to use for jokes. I could paint Better Call Saul. I could paint the new Lord of the Rings. I could paint the Sandman. I could paint, I mean, there's so many cool things. Um, Brenda Scott has a video on part of faces, different parts of faces, like eyes and noses and lips. So check out the Art Hacks playlist for those. And you will see that. The coloring pages are up on the website and on the Discord for everybody. What brushes are you currently using? I am using, and I really got to do a video on them, but I'm using the, um, these are by Etcher Labs, their watercolor set. Okay, so you've got the art books. What made you want to start doing YouTube? Uh, Dan Povenmire told me to. Um, and when Dan speaks, <laughs> We were talking and, and He's like, you've really got to join YouTube. It's it's a you know it's a much better community. They pay much better, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that was in well, February. And also, the things with TikTok where they weren't notifying our people when we were going live. Yeah, Everybody yeah. Everybody was like, why did I miss you and, painting? And 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 you know we would regularly have videos banned. Ah, don't forget to walk us through your watercolor shadow processes. Thank you, Jay, for reminding me. So talk about shadows in the watercolor really quick. All right. So if you guys notice what I'm doing is I am just laying down the colors as if there were no shadows. So I'm not worried about shadowing yet. I'm gonna go over later with shadows. Please show us the um, photo reference so we can see what you're talking about. Right now? Yes. But I'm, okay. I know what you're doing, but what I'm saying is they want to know the steps and the process you're going through, and it would be easier if you showed the photo reference while you're doing it. So you can see that. Box TV! Oh, thank you, Box TV. You're so... And then here is the other... This is the one I'm using for the head. So if you notice, this, this head is this guy here, 
and then this body is the rest. And then I just kind of connected the two. But the thing is, there are no real shadows on these turtles, so I'm gonna be making it up. Okay, Idiot Fish since February. Favorite songs, honey? Uh, Future Love Paradise by Seal. Thanks for reminding us about the shadows, guys. I appreciate that. Sophia says, okay, I'm starting on watercolors and I'm starting on base colors, then building on top. Yes, do your lightest colors first. And then we could do a shadow pass later. Praxi the artist says, oh, the overlay you do is for every layer, like multiple mode in Photoshop. Yes. Sophie says, also, thank you so much for the help with shadows. So you're gonna start with the basic colors, the lighter colors, and then you're gonna add on top for the shadows. Yes. Okay. Um, the mods will put the link to the Discord in. What is your favorite time period? Mine is the 70s. Oh, it has to be the 80s. <laughs> it has to be the 80s. The 80s were pretty cool. There was a lot of hairspray in the 80s, man, let me tell you, and blue eyeshadow. I did blue eyeshadow, and I don't do eyeshadow. Um, you're gonna wanna put your requests for the new national animals. Um, in the YouTube video, yes, not in the live. in the comments after this YouTube, that we're doing the live and it goes up and it's a video, put the comments in later, in that thing there. Um, the references look so cool, they're interesting. Amu, the Discord link is in the comments. Yeah, they're they're banning some strange things over on you on uh, TikTok. I don't know why. Um, so. All right, almost done. I'm just gonna add a little bit more color here on the shell. Scott, would you use a fixative of any kind of coating on your finished pieces to reduce any kind of damage or smudges or accidental color lifting from water spills? No, no, I don't like fixative on watercolor. Um, it'll just mute it and, um, and honestly watercolor, as long as you put it in a frame or just keep it out of the light, it'll be fine. What part of doing your art do you like the most? Finishing. I, I'm serious, that's my favorite part, is when I'm done. Um, how do you fix a mistake when you make a mistake with the pen, the lines? Um, you have to live with it, and it, unless it's like, you know, like I rock right across, um, you have to decide, is it worth repainting uh, or starting over? If it isn't, then you can always just go in with gouache and just clean up the line, line you know, like just try to match it up as best as you can. Blow dryer. All right, so this is called a, a, a wet on dry technique. And uh, that's why you see me dry it. So that way, when I come in with another color, it's not gonna pick up the other color as much. So here we're gonna do our shadows. Everybody ready for shadows? Mm -hmm. I am using Windsor Purple. Now I'm just gonna get a very light amount of it. And I am, because it's I'm not using photo reference for this, I am just, basing my not off of my knowledge of three-dimensional things this is going to cast a shadow this mouth is going to cast a little bit of an extra shadow right there um this under part if the light's coming from the top because i don't know of a situation where light's going to come from the bottom in the ocean so we're always going to assume it's going to come from the top and every one of these little rolls these wrinkles is going to have 
a little bit of purple along the line, like that. So I'm thinking of where there's light and where there's shadow. See, like that. And this, the purples over the yellows and the blues are giving a really nice, cool color. All right, the front yeah. of this is gonna have some shadow. I need a little more paint. Are you mixing? I'm not mixing anything. You're Okay, you're layering the colors. This is just that thing. purple. This is right. just that purple. Just the purple still, okay. Yeah, it's all I'm doing. It's just purple, purple, purple. Okay, the shell is gonna cast a shadow, right? Do you ever use black as a shadow or do you avoid using black? I avoid using black as a shadow. Black is gonna, uh, it's gonna make everything grayish and muddy. Purple gives it a nice, cool feel to it. You could try blues and, and you know, what else? But, um... He's using them off the palette. The, but Just like you guys palette, watched me, so I'm doing... Right, but what's on the palette came straight out of the tubes, correct? Yeah. There you go. So now, and then I can add another layer if I want this little part to be a little darker. But I probably am gonna go Blow dryer. Hey, Santa's here, everybody. Hi, Santa. Hey, Santa. Blow dryer. for you there so you should all go and do us a favor and give Santa some love and follow his YouTube page because I'm sure he would love that in the Philippines right now <laughs> how do you choose which color to use as the shadow great question I always I I just decided at some point in my life that I liked how purple looked. That's just really all it is. Sophia says, your explanations really help and I get it more. Layer on top for shadows, thank you so much. My pleasure. Um, Amy doesn't want your wrist to hurt, so if it's hurting, make sure you stretch it regularly or it will get sore. They're worried about you. Good advice, thank you. Uh, Scott does not know Persian. Oh, Spanish Sats finished their tiger and posted it on Discord. Oh, that's great. All right, so I'm gonna do one extra, extra little layer along some of these wrinkles. Hey, Happy Lonesome is back after three excruciating months of not being able to attend lives. Oh, so happy you're welcome here. back. Um. Um, Kasija says, how, to, and I probably butchered your name and I'm so sorry, how to make light colors darker for shadows? Um, just go over it with a little bit more purple. Layering. Yeah, layering, layering definitely isn't... helps. Yes. Oh, Carl followed Santa's TikTok the other day. Yay! All right, and then now let's let's just dry this real quick. Blow dryer. And I got I got to do a little bit more. 
more on the eye and then we are good here. Um, finished once on my painting, Cicillin. Um, totally gonna put it up in the Discord. Yay! Awesome. Um... All right, now we gotta come up. What are the colors of the flag? Happy Wilson's like, Donna remembers me. Oh my god. All right, blue. Let's do blue. I, I think blue is a good. Flowers yet either. Yeah. What are some tips for drawing fingernails? I avoid them. Like the plague. I really hate drawing Boy, fingernails. Puts gloves over the hands. Yeah. Santa says there are amazing efforts of conservancy for sea turtles in the Solomon Islands. I know an elementary school that raises money for this. That's oh, that's very fantastic. Exciting. Yeah, we were we we're looking up all of the amazing things going on there. I mean, they have their problems and uh, you know, as any country does. But uh, I try to focus on the good stuff. You do. Um, so do you have to use yellow for the shadows then too? Um, no, no, no. Remember, uh, I put yellow down like this is yellow. This was yellow before. And so you put it down as if there were no shadows, the colors. So if something is yellow, you make it yellow. You paint all the details and then you dry it then you come back over with purple where the shadows are going to be that's what i'm that's what i was doing so you don't worry about any special oops i keep dipping into the purple any special um shadow color shadow color is always at least for me is always purple because you want it you you want those colors to be the same you don't want your your so this color and that color were originally the same color. And and then I added the shadows, the purple over it. But it, it feels more natural that way because they originated with the same yellow. Okay. Um, Jason says, you always inspire me to push myself and express the world of art. Oh, thank you. Elizabeth Carr says, sea turtles are my favorite animal. I'm so glad you're doing one today. Thank you. Um, Franzi says you can use complementary colors to do the shadows. That's true too. Let's see. Love your video, says Aziza. Thank Would you. Would you rather the cover of the sketchbook be solid or flexible? I like the solid ones. Does the shadow thing work the same with colored pencils? That's no. On yak. Not no. It, it's it's. Colored pencils, you have to say, I'm drawing this. I mean, you can try and, and add it, and, and it depends on how you layer it. But I've just found, like, when I would do colored pencils, I would just look at the photo and go, this feels like this color. And just, just do that. That's why I wanted to get into painting, because you could do stuff like that, where you could paint and then just layer on top of it. it. It's very hard to layer on top of colored pencils. Um, Amy wants to know if we have any allergies. They can't wear fake gold or silver. It's kind of sad because I could earlier, so my jewelry went to waste, but they donated it. Oh. I have so many allergies, uh, your head would explode. Yeah, Donna's allergic to so many things. Yeah, so many things. Oh, Alice can't draw because they broke their arm. Gosh, oh, you could try it with your other arm. Might be fun. <laughs> Dandelions around us says, I didn't know you did live streams. That's so cool. I really enjoy watching your videos. Oh, thank you. And Maximus Prime asks, do you think black can work for shadows if the situation has really dramatic lighting? Oh, Good absolutely. Question. You can do, if, you know, the other thing you can do is um, just go completely black and white and try it with like inks and get your dramatic lighting that way and then add a little bit of color on top of it. That, that could be a lot of fun. I'm getting some swimming vibes, but it's just a turtle. Oh, Hollis says, I'm from the Solomon Islands, so I'm very happy and excited you decided to do us today. Oh, that's amazing. Yay. Please tell us something about the Solomon Islands. Yeah, give us a little little inside scoop. It's, it's very little you know information about it, about them. Um, I bet they're gorgeous. We're a little landlocked and we love water, so 
we think anything with an eye and on an island is like exotic and beautiful and gorgeous so. <laughs> yeah that's true um what does scott like to do in his spare time usually play games um grandma giggles says hey i know you might not see this and i'm late but i love how it's coming out but i just wanted to thank you because you've inspired me to start my own youtube channel and i post some art stuff oh thank wonderful you so much. Yay, oh. grandma giggles you go girl um okay Elizabeth wants to know, what are your thoughts on recycled paper sketchbooks? I know Strathmore has some. I think they're great. Uh, I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I just did a video where somebody or a company is making uh, sketchbooks with uh, recycled stone. Uh, I think anytime you can recycle is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Blow dryer. colors that you're using on your palette so would it be possible for you at some point in time to take a picture of your palette with it all labeled because I know you've got some of them labeled already let's relabel the palette and stick a picture up on your Instagram yes but if you want to know the exact colors that I'm using they, they are all your... on the they're all on the art supply know, list but they specifically want to see your palette oh how about if we post the picture not only on your Instagram but on the art supply list Bethany, would that be possible? No, 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 no. Yes, they want Honey, to see your palette with the colors. I could do it right now and show everybody. But it's not something that's going to stay. Then the we question. could put it on the Discord. Okay, we'll do that. Um, Hawk Doe says, "I just want you. I just want to let you know that I quote your line: the world needs more art. The world needs your art all the time. Whenever I feel sad about making oh. art, you're such an inspiration. Much love." Thank oh, you so fantastic. much. I love to hear that. And Idiot Fish learns so much here. Thank you, Scott and Donna. Oh, thank you. Love you guys. Well, we love you back. And and just so you know, every time you all tag me, I I try to see all of the tags. I try to respond to everybody. Yeah. So if, if don't, I don't, it's just because I just didn't see it. But every anything I see, I I respond to and. I spend hours and hours and hours a day just responding to comments and videos and everything. So please don't give up on me if I haven't seen your work or comment or anything. Um, Scott has drawn anime before. Um, how do you choose what you're going to paint? I often want to paint, but I can never decide what to do. Um, I, I find inspiration from other artists, from other people, whether it's a cosplayer or a photographer or something, and that's where I find inspiration. Otherwise, you can go to a museum. There's a video on inspiration if you want to take a look. There's also one on Art Block, too. Yep. Blow dryer. this page but it is very warped today um does the blow dryer sometimes um push the watercolors around yes if okay. there's too much water in it yes let's blow through some of these there's a lot of ones on here the pens he uses um are uh zebra brush pens yes scott leaves paint brushes out all the time but hopefully he would actually um wash them out before he puts them to the side. Um, I don't treat my brushes very well. He does not treat, yeah, he doesn't. And I don't have any um, plans of treating them any better. Scott has not tried crocheting or knitting. I have, um, I enjoy knitting. I don't do it often, but I enjoy it. Um, yes, he is very delicate with his brush. 
Um, he does have plenty of tutorials in the Art Hacks playlist and you can see a lot of the things there. Um, he uses the Windsor and Newton watercolors. Um, and you can see the entire palette that he uses in the art supply list. We'll give you all the names and all the colors. He plays Overwatch and he plays Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, he does things wrong all the time. He is so not perfect. In oh gosh, games. look at all the mistakes in this piece. Exactly. And he will only see the mistakes he has made. So, um, he has worked on some manga things before. Um, did you know today's the day J.R.R. Tolkien died? Also today, the new Amazon show is coming out. Are you excited about it? Uh, yeah, I am. Say happy birthday to Mux. Happy birthday, Mux. Santa would like to see you do a black and white series if you've ever thought about doing that. That might be fun. That does sound like fun. I, I really liked working with um, Kim Diaz home with the, uh, the watches. Yeah, the ink monsters and stuff. Those are really fun to do. What do you draw when you're not recording? Um, I don't anymore. If I'm if I'm drawing anything at this point, I'm recording. Yeah. The good thing is I'm drawing what I like, you know, most of the time. Of course Santa lives in the North. What kind of question is that? Everybody knows he lives at the North Pole. Um, hi, how did you learn facial features? Uh, practice and studying people. I think a lot of, um, when I was an animator, that really helped because an animator is really an actor. Mm -hmm. And so you really have to get into facial expressions and mm -hmm. body positioning and all of that stuff. Black and white with movie stars. Old movie stars would be fun. And Ray thinks I make the cutest hats. They make the animals so much more adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. You're so sweet. Thank you, Virginia. Your video saved my life. That's lame. Oh, geez. Well, that, that's pretty extreme, but thank you. Who do you prefer to play in Overwatch? Uh, Reinhardt for tank, uh, Junkrat or Torb for DPS, and Lucio or Moira for healing. And I am a solid, high gold, low plat player. I am nothing special, but I love playing with my son and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, the best, the cutest part is that he plays with our son. Um, you know, to be honest, I'm not really into the temperature blanket thing. I think it's cool to watch people do them, but I don't, I don't know. If I was gonna knit, I wouldn't, it just doesn't thrill me. Let's put it that way. Like, I love seeing other people do it, but it wouldn't be my thing. Um, how did you learn facial features? You asked that already. Oh, I did? Yeah. Um, have you tried more cartoony styles or less realistic ones? Yes, I've done like caricature. Um, I, I've, I've tried I, impressionism. I'm trying so many different stuff. I'm always trying to push away from photorealism as much as possible. Okay, uh, the blow drawer has never caught anything on fire. Scott has drawn Chris Helmsworth. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on cutting things out of one sketchbook and gluing them in another one? That's something that you can do. And... Um, how do you know, this is a good question. Um, Hannah Syed says, hey Scott, how do you know which colors go well together and which don't? Uh, there's no such thing as this color goes well with that. Uh, in other words, like there are color theories and there's stuff that the human mind just naturally likes together. There's complementary colors, but for every one of those, there's an exception to the rule. And so I say it is up to the artist. You know, like, and I'm sure the same thing is true in music. Like these notes work well together. Don't do this. Don't do a sharp with a this and a that or whatever. But for every one of those, there's an exception and and, and you'll see a musician use that. And it shouldn't work, but it does and it's brilliant. So I always say, just use the colors that make you happy. Okay. Scott has drawn the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. We have never been to Iran. <clears throat> I highly doubt he will do Rick Ashley. Um, he does not play pixel games. Sarah also loves playing Moira. 
Have you ever tried more cartoony styles? You asked that already. This is a, another person. Oh, yes. Um, what app did you use before animating? Before uh, for animating, I'm sorry. Oh, um, it, it was, um, this was before apps. So uh, back, it was back in the day, it was, Perhaps. yeah, it was uh, Soft Image and Maya and Alias and then um, 3D Studio Max, Lightwave. Uh, okay, moving on. What is your favorite thing to put on a sandwich? Mine is turkey. Um, the bread is my favorite part, honestly, but uh, lettuce and onions. And? Turkey or roast beef. Will you be playing the new Zelda game when it comes out next year? Yeah, I'm just, I've been dying for it. I'm going to have to replay for the third time uh, Breath of the Wild before that comes out so I can catch back up. Um, where's my he for dat says, I wanted to say thank you because I don't see a lot of people like you around. I mean, you're really supportive and super open-minded. Not a lot um, of people are like you. Thank you for being you, Scott. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Where's that hat? The hats were, yeah. All right. Um, um, w of Bit Verb says, I used Flip a Clip. Could you review Camlin watercolors? I could try. Um, a lot of people have to leave and go to school. Yeah, we there have to go to. There is a video too. on finding your art style that you can find in All right, art hacks playlist. Really quick, some of you wanted to see my palette. Here's my palette. How do you do, how do you talk and do art at the same time? Oh, that's easy. You just, I mean, the art I'm doing doesn't really take much thought. So that's my palette. And then you can see the 12 colors that I use in the art supply list. If you could live anywhere, but if you notice, I don't blend them. If you could live anywhere, where would you live? I don't know yet. I'd love to, I mean, if it's a mythical place, Dreamland. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. I, I really need to visit more places. Any advice for a young artist who struggles with art block? Yes, there's a video on that in my art hacks. Flea Floop would like to thank you for making them practice their art more. I was about to give up, but you've really helped me make my art better. Also, are there skin toned watercolors? Um, yes, there are. First of all, thank you. Yes, there are. Um, it, just um, what I use for my skin tone is actually Windsor Yellow and Rose Matter. So a little bit of yellow, a little bit of pink. So I never use, this is flesh tone. I never use it. Um, okay, I think we can stop. Yeah, we, we, we all have to kind of get going, but thank you all for hanging out with us. I, I play video here. games in my free time. Yeah, skin tones are never really very good. Guys, uh, you don't get uh, roles in the Discord until we are officially done because our beautiful, wonderful mods that are here are the same ones who mod the Discord. So cut them a little slack. They will get to you and let you in as soon as they can. But yes. thank you for being here with us today. Check out the website for the art supplies. A lot of you ask questions about art supplies today. Go to the resources section. Go to the Art Hacks playlist to check out for you know all the things you could learn about. Bring your questions for Monday. We will be here Monday morning. Yes, Monday we'll see you time. Monday. Um, if you've got specific questions, we would love to answer those. Um, so have a great weekend, you guys. We love you all. And yeah, thanks Thank for you. being here with us. And we will see you. Put your you. suggestions as soon as this live goes up on the video. Put your suggestions on what you want them to do next. Uh, we already know what we're going to do Monday, but for Wednesday and Friday of next week, we'll put those in. Thanks, everybody. Bye.